In this video we're going to make some platforms you jump on and when you jump on them they'll get activated and slowly start to fall faster and faster. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this big floor and we're going to make some platforms. So game object, create other, cube as always, going to make it kind of short and bigger. Okay, so there's a couple ways to do this. We could do rigid body and turn gravity really low and then turn the rigid body on when we step on it, but that's going to be a problem because you could maybe blast away or move it. I definitely only want it to slowly start falling and then faster and faster. So we're going to do it uh, all by ourselves. So we have the box collider which is what we step on. We're actually going to want another collider that is a is trigger. And this one I'm going to make it a little taller. So you can see the green there. When we touch that green, that's what's going to turn on our script. So in scripts, right click, create C sharp script, call it falling platform and open that up. So just like in a few other videos, the key video, the ammunition video, and uh, checkpoint video, um, we're going to be doing that again. So this function happens when the object starts. This function happens a lot every time there's a new frame, a new picture on the screen. We don't need these. What we do need is another one called on trigger enter. That's capital O, capital T, capital E has to be and we're given some information about what hit us so if what hit us is called our player this is like in ammunition we don't need this though then we're gonna do something so we're gonna keep track of whether the player has stepped on us yet so is falling and we're gonna start as false because we're just gonna not fall to start but right here when the player does does actually step on us is falling is going to be true and it's going to stay true now we actually do need that update function that I got rid of because every time there's a new frame we're going to do two things we're going to move down a little bit and we're going to make our downward speed a little faster so we need a whole, another number called down speed going to start at zero and right here we're going to check if we're falling then we're going to do those two things we are going to increase our down speed by let's say time that delta time so you'll have to have a look at other videos for more on this but if uh, we're getting if it's a fast computer and we're getting a lot of frames this will be a small number if it's a slow computer and there's like not a lot of frames it's choppy this will be a a bigger number but over time it'll increase by the same speed so we're taking into account how fast our computer is to always increase our downward speed by the same amount and then we also need to change the position our y position Is going, uh, position is always a vector 3 data type because there's three numbers. Now we're going to use the same x position. We're going to use the same z position, but y is going to be our y position plus our down speed. And we'll save that and see see how that works you have to add falling platform to this and when we jump on what happens oh it goes up quite fast so a couple bugs there right first we need to subtract down speed and I would say the speed increased way too fast 
So I'm going to reduce the acceleration by a lot there. Okay, so now when I jump on, it falls and it starts to fall faster and faster. Still too fast, but that is about right. And I'd say one more thing. I'm going to add it here. I don't want this to fall to infinity. You know, if you're playing your game for an hour, I don't want it to be a million miles away. So after, let's say, 10 seconds, we'll destroy, whoops, we'll destroy ourself after 10 seconds. So game object, whenever you're writing a script, that's the whole object that falling platforms attach to. In this case, it's our cube. And now I'm going to uh, copy it a couple times. And this is the idea, is you have to hop across fast enough because they are falling behind you. There you go.